Hello, everybody. Uh, we're looking forward to a new Rosh Hashanah, to a new year. Uh, many times when it comes to a new year, people try to make a New Year's resolution. People try to make a new Kabbalah for the coming year. And um, common experience is that they don't work. Either people try to bite off more than they can chew, or they take on something that's really small, and then it gets boring because they don't find it's doing anything for them. So I just want to give a recommendation, a suggestion based on a Gemara about a third way to make a resolution, to make a Kabbalah that is both meaningful and manageable. The Gemara tells us that after the destruction of the Mesa Mikdash, people stopped eating meat and drinking wine because they said, how can we eat meat when they brought Karbanas? They brought animal sacrifices on the Mizbah. How can we go and continue to eat meat now? when the Mizbech doesn't have it. How can we drink wine? They used to bring the Nesachim on the Mizbech, when the Karbanas, and that's gone. How can, we, how can we drink wine anymore? And Sigmar says, that Rabbi Yeshua came to them and he said, come on, you can't do this. People can't continue to just go on with life without drinking wine and eating meat. And if you really decide that you're not going to do anything that, we're going, that we lost with the destruction of the Mesim Mikdash, then you probably shouldn't eat fruit either because they used to bring Bikurim, the first fruits, the Basin Megdash, and we didn't have that anymore. And we shouldn't drink water for that matter because they used to bring the Nisuch HaMayim on the Mizbech. We didn't have that anymore either. You couldn't end up living if you were going to continue on this path. The Basin Megdash is gone. It's terrible. It's the greatest loss that we have as a nation, let's say, but, but it's gone. And we can't continue to live life and continue to go into the future. Um, trying to live in the world that was. We have to continue in the world that is. So he said, when you build a house, build a big, beautiful house. Do your regular thing. But in the front of the house, leave an amal amal, leave a small square, two feet by two feet, that will just be empty. When you come to the house, you'll see, what's this empty spot here? Why isn't it painted? Why isn't it finished? You know why? Because the basic dish is gone. When you're preparing a beautiful meal, make it make a beautiful meal. Have lots of courses. Leave out one dish. And then you'll say, Why well, are we missing this dish? Because the basic dish is gone. How can we how can we fully appreciate whatever happiness we're going through now when the basic dish is gone? Don't ruin the whole affair. Have a whole affair. Just take out one dish. Um, we can apply this to many places in our lives. But the general idea is, I'm not talking about the Mesimekdash specifically, I'm talking in general, that the idea is over here that there's a small thing that you could do which will actually be, be like a concentrate of the idea that you're trying to teach yourself and learn the behavior for. So, for, in the case of the Gemara's example, you would make a small square on your home that would be uh, empty, and that would remind you every time you come home, it wouldn't ruin your house. You'd still have a beautiful house. But every time you would come home, you'd be reminded, oh, you know, the Basin Mikdash is gone. Now, one important thing to mention over here is that when you make a resolution, it's got to be very personal. It's got to be something that you think will really engage you, something that you think will really actually um, catch your attention. Not something that's just um, cold and laboratory-like. It's got to be something that actually catches you. And I'm happy to talk to anybody about specific ideas, things that I did personally, or ideas that you might want to try. Um, and the basic idea, again, is to take a very great idea and put it into a small action. I wish you all also all the best of luck, and have Salah for coming to this wonderful year. We should have a Kisiva Vechasim